channel. All right, guys. Um, hope every hope everybody's doing well out there. It is a semi overcast day here in Merritt. It's kind of overcast today, but it's still plus. It's going to reach plus fourteen, I think, or fifteen today. So centigrade that is. So people watching in the states, nobody freak out. I'm not freezing to death up here. But I keep telling people, second week of March, fertilize or you'll have yellow lawn all summer long. And, uh, whoa, I have a like already with nobody viewing. So where is everybody out there? What is everybody? We got a patriotic Canadian. Hey, Mike. We got good morning, Mike. From Canrad? Canrad? Canrad. From 1300 in Ontario. Yeah. One o'clock there. And we got Dwayne in the house. We got JP Powell in the house. Everybody from across the Commonwealth joining us and connecting the dots across the Commonwealth. And uh, something we've been very vocal about here for over 10 years on this channel. And um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a very interesting time to be alive, folks. Very interesting time. We got Crosshatch in the house. And... Um, yeah, thanks, guys, for uh, joining me for coffee this morning. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, so don't forget we are on Rumble for Mike in the Night. So there's uh, 492 we just did on Wednesday. Oh, we got somebody from Alaska. Oh, Northern Stitcher in the house. I think I spoke to her over the phone. Uh, Mike in the Night there, um, 492. But you want to watch this one. Everyone's talking about 491 Mike in the Night. This one here, everyone's talking about this video here. So if you guys want to check it out, please go check it out on Rumble only because we are not free to speak on YouTube. Um, what's going on there? I don't know. It's just the channels here. Uh, guys, I do have – I am now trying to – well, I we are now open to ship to the United States. So if people want to – now, if people want to come and shop, use promo code Mike in the Night promo code. Mike of the night to say 5%. And then I know it's one of you guys that are supporting me. We got Great Western Trail, Chronicles of Crime, really good game. Uh, lots of good stuff. So we kind of, I'm organizing it as I speak with you guys so that you guys could easily find stuff. We got our exit detective section done. So if you like detective exit type game, we have Arkham Horror exit games. So if you guys want to support me, you could go here. Use promo code Mike in the night so I know it's you guys. Mount Mountains of Madness is really good. Really good games. Get off the damn electronics. You know, um, lots of exit games. So if you guys want to play an exit game with the family for the night, it's uh, it's pretty much a, it's only, it's a very inexpensive game, but it's a throwaway game. You can throw it away when you're done. People have a ritual of burning it in the fireplace when they're done. And if you guys want to support me, mtg.toys or meritgames.com. And go ahead and use promo code. Uh, use the promo code uh, Mike in the Night, all one word, so I know it's from you guys, okay? Um, unfortunately, what I've been realizing when um, so I sell stuff with Google, when I'm selling stuff through Google Analytics to promote my store, I realize I'm only selling stuff to people that I where I've mispriced something or the weight is not put in. And they demand free shipping. And that's what I noticed about, like, the online sales. You, like, people only want to buy from you if they're going to get a deal. They don't care. And so I'm hoping that you guys could support me, uh, mtg.toys, and use promo code Mike in the Night, all one word. Um, so someone's saying, beware of TD Bank. Beware of all banking systems, guys. Banking systems are crumbling, falling. This is something they've been laying the groundwork in Canada since 2017 for for a digital currency because they really want to abolish the cash to in, in impoverish or basically get rid of the rest of the small businesses. Right. Uh, we pay too much tax here already. We are beyond and they want to know what we're spending our money on with what we're spending it on and basically putting us through a social credit score to disallow us from being free human beings. And again, um, it's something we've been uh, very vocal about here for years now. And I just, I, I, I kind of wish that, you know, it bothers me. I kind of wish that people just took me serious, more seriously years ago. Digital ID is being forced through the through TD Bank. Yeah. Justin is in my town today. It, it was so hard. 
to not go down and throw rocks at him. ANZ Bank in Australia will no longer give out cash to their bank in their banks. Yeah, ANZ. Okay, down in Australia, we have it covered here from 2017 and 2018. We covered this intensively. How Australia is removing their bank machines. Woo! Removing their bank machines and making it harder for people to to get their money their their hard earned money out. And they were removing bank machines, forcing people in small towns to drive miles away to go get cash. Yes, because the government that's there for you, that saved you the last three years, they saved you. They're, they're basically going to want to control everything you do now and what you do and what you spend on. Because the government's there to save you. Westpac, 26 million money laundering breaches in one year in Westpac in Australia. 26 million lo money laundering breaches. Not $26 million dollars. 26 million money laundering breaches. That's a breach every two seconds. Or more. More than that. Uh, CBDC digital ID and currency is coming. No stopping it. Say no to the digital ID. Yeah, that's what's coming, folks. But what if you don't own a phone? I'm actually going to do something, guys. And I've been talking about this for a while. I want to boycott my phone for one day, one day of the week. I want to start with one day of the week. I won't make a video. I won't do anything. I, I won't check my – well, I'll check my email here at the store for work, like trying to make this place work and going through things and advertising and stuff. That's different. But I'm going to start boycotting my phone because there's nobody that calls me, right? They're like So it's like – and if a friend tries to call me, they'll call me back later. It's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start boycotting my, my phone for one, one day of the week, hopefully a big channel. That's post-COVID. Post-COVID. That came out after COVID and gets 11 million views on a video and a quarter million subscribers in eight months. Could say, hey, I have an idea. I'm going to boycott my phone for one day. Of the Look at this hero. But that's that's just that's just that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Uh, CBDC can be stopped. Uh, don't give up, folks. Uh, so, guys, if you want to watch a CBDC video that we did. It's it's a really good one. I, it's really really good one, and I, I, I'm gonna show it to you guys here. Uh, you go on the channel, on the this YouTube channel you're on. Go to the search. Okay, and type in Darwin. Okay, Let's see if it comes up or they took it down. Social credit score is here. No, it's it's older than that. It's it's actually before before. Uh, Wow, did they, did they, yeah, Mike in the Night, no, year in predictions. Prediction show, let's see if, wow, they actually, wow, they took, there it is, right there. Darwin Takeover, social credit score 5G before the you-know-what, before the pandemic right here. And this is what they were ensuing. So there it is right there, look, on Mike in the Night. Yep, they thought it was only in China, but it's in Australia. It's in Australia, they thought it was only in China, look. Oh, it's never bad, we're going to go over to look. May 11, 2019, way before they pulled the trigger on the pandemic. There it is right there if you guys want to watch it. And it goes into the banking. Watch, it goes into banking. It goes into... And what else we got here? Just it goes into the banking. It goes into social credit score. It goes into to everything. Everything, everything, everything. It, 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 this is a really good video. It's called Darwin Takeover with Social Credit Score. And we said it before Joe Rogan did. So there it is right there. That's the show there on 2019 on May 11th. So. But imagine those big time, these big time people. Imagine they were actually saying these things back in the day. Like, or warning people about this. They, they'd have statues of them in every city of the world. If they were actually doing what we were doing years ago, but they come in and say they're going to Joe Rogan or somebody, somebody big comes out. Russell Brand comes out and says they're going to implement a digital currency. Oh, my God. The whole world stands up and says, oh, my God, look what they just said. Look what they just said. It's like it's like the same thing over and over. It's a broken record. And that's why I'm thinking, like, I'm just wasting my time doing this and, and, and throwing predictions and telling people. You know, it's almost, I don't know, I just, I felt like I've had my run, and it didn't, 
I didn't, you know, I had my run and whatever. I did it. I have, I'm at peace with myself. I'm at peace with what I've done. I don't regret any of it. I had a good time doing this. And I'm just at peace. You know, I, I'm at peace. I said what I had to say before Joe Rogan, of course. And, 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 and then that's it. I said it. It's there. Three, three, 30 people watched that video. I said it. So the timestamp doesn't lie. Mike uh, Tinker Six, uh, smiling as the world commits suicide makes sense if you if you prepped. Right. Oh, yeah. What else, guys? What else is going on? All right, let's go to into uh, what's happening here around the world. So Israel, Israeli protests were recovering it since day one. So we got Justin S in the house. Okay, check this out, guys. So Israeli protests were where we were actually following these protests since day one on the ground uh, in Israel. We have. People friendly to Mike of the Night. So day one of this protest, we're going into, what, 13 weeks now? Canada quietly rolling back parts of its foreign buyer ban after just 86 days. So we 86 days ago, we made a video for you guys that Canada is going to implement foreign buyers to ban foreign buyers. And they've done it in New Zealand. They've done it everywhere. And they just have to peel it back because Canada needs money laundering. Canadian real estate... Canadian economy can't survive without selling real estate to, to Chinese nationals. It, it can't survive. It needs incredible amounts of money laundering. That's why they created the Vancouver model. When are people going to wake up? That's a good question. We got Swarin K9 in the house. Peace to you all gathered here, says civilization means and domestication. Peace to everybody, guys. But there it is. Cannot survive off of uh, binging. So, child poverty hurting one in ten New Zealand kids. So there it is. Uh, this is a big problem, and this is something we've been uh, child poverty, and we're talking about children starving, uh, literally starving, and going to school and trying to squirm for food. It's really sad what's happening in New Zealand. But don't worry, guys. I had this covered. Because I was, I was actually warning people, 30,000 empty homes in Auckland, New Zealand by Chinese CCP investors. Homeless set the skyrocket four years ago. Um, look at this. People moving into these cubicles. Move to, move to stack. Auckland renters, eight to a room in pods, worries industry. So there it is, five years ago. What else? Overseas CCP buying in Auckland, leaving locals homeless and create mass exodus four years ago. Uh, what else do we have here? So this is something, look at this. Auckland rental with no kitchen advertised at 450 bucks a week before the pandemic. Everything before the pandemic. New Zealand got smart. They were using tents to house the homeless. Jacinto Arden, wake up, start selling your country four years ago. So this is what's happening, and, and and look, prices set to double in New Zealand two years ago. During the height of a pandemic, housing prices doubled in New Zealand. Why? Because of foreign investing. Same thing like Canada. Canada needs to quietly roll back parts of its foreign buyer ban after 86 days. So it's countries have become very dependent, not on the wages of their employees in the private sector, heavily dependent on it foreign money and i've been warning the blue states the west western states of america look at the portland is falling video i did the other day for you guys where we reference back videos from six seven eight years ago showing it showing how this progression is going to take place but but i don't know i i, I just i don't know i just feel i don't know i just feel like i'm at a loss guys i i don't know why i i i I just feel like I'm at a loss. I feel like the information's right here. It's right there. What, the video got 25 views. The information's right there five years ago. So then Russell Brand comes out and says they're going to give tents to homeless people in New Zealand. <gasps> Look what Russell Brand said. It's like, I, I don't understand. 
I don't get it. And then the post-COVID channels that come out. People are sending me links to these channels. Look at this guy's channel. Quarter million subscribers, nine months. He's talking about, he's post-dicting what you're talking about five years ago. I don't get it. And this is, you know, I, I just, I just, I'm feeling, and it's really, it's really eating me inside that I'm wasting my time. I've said what I had to say, like I have spoken, but it feels like I'm just wasting my time now. Um, uh, I'm as kind as others as I am treated. You feel defeated as well as we all do. I just, I don't know. I just, anyone on SC have a, a sidearm for sale? Uh, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. No, it's it's when you're severely shadow banned for 10 years, then people are taking your material and your speaking points. OK, they're taking your speaking points and the way you phrase things and word salads and they become heroes. What am I doing? You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. Mike, YouTube is not promoting you. So you, you know, just as much or more, it's not about knowing more. It's not about knowing or being ahead. It's like kind of forecasting this stuff and trying to warn people like that. This is, this is a takeover, an economic takeover, whatever we're talking about on, in, in our subject. And, and just kind of being like, well, well this guy said it. Well, who cares about him? He doesn't matter. Just as much more, you need to have the pop. You need to have the popularity. Your uh, cult of a personality. That's how YouTube works. Big creators don't know what they're doing, so they just copy. Uh, rigor mortis. Don't talk about that kind of stuff on on a channel. Uh, out of Canada, you can get Mike in trouble. I had a few hundred videos up. On YouTube, never promote. Uh, YouTube never promote my stuff. I gave up. Genuine, you serious? Don't give up. Remember how unpopular Jesus was. Yeah, but I'm not here to be Jesus. For I'm not here to be a, a life changer. But I'm here at least if there was some sort of a fairness. Going back ten years, going back to like, hey, what is this guy? What is this guy saying? What, uh, food prices set the skyrocket. Inflation issues ahead. Alberta City, Auckland, Los Angeles. Before the before the pandemic, like we're. But if Russell Brand said that, woo! But the problem is Russell Brand saying it today, and he's becoming a hero. All these post dictators, all these post COVID people are saying it today, and they are the. You know what I'm saying? They're the heroes and stuff. Quarter million views. Quarter million. You know what I'm saying? And you're probably thinking, well, Mike, you know, you know, it'd be nice to have a little bit of side income coming in. It'd be nice. It would be really nice to have some like they're making. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and and they've only been on YouTube for eight months. Very nice to have that. You know, especially if we're going through tough times. So Russell Brand is bought and paid for. Our laws are unjust. Well. I know I said it, so I don't care anymore. I've gotten to the point where, you know, I care about you guys. That's what I care about. The reason why I come on here, you know, on a regular basis for the last, this this channel I'm on now, got my first channel got deleted in 20, 20 like early 2012, got deleted. And, and watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Last month, I had 4,800 videos. I've been making videos, and my videos went down. See that? And when I, when, I, when, I, when I moved from Vancouver, including the videos that were deleted, I was at 5,800 videos. There it is right there. So that's the... Um, the problem, I don't know. I just, I don't know what it is. I just, so I'm on Rumble now. And 
like I'm trying on there now, but it's almost like, you know, you're, you're, you're constantly, constantly, constantly just trying to start over. I tried on Odyssey for a year and a half. I'm shadow banned on there. I can't be found. People come into my store, go on Odyssey on this counter with their laptop. They log in with their laptop. They can't find me unless I send them a link. So, I don't know. You know I'm not pot and paid for. You know that. You know that. Greatest time to be alive. You are knowledgeable. You know, when I was in the CF, I, I was sent to a nation where half the people obeyed all the laws so much. So we had to move in and make sure others, others, the other side did not genocide them. Wow. Uh, just serve the flavor of the day and you'll see more videos. Mike, you are the voice of the common people. And William Lloyd Mackenzie was right. It, it was called Bosnia. Yeah. All right, let's go back to... So... Beggars causing a nuisance crackdown. So in beggars are causing a nuisance on Britain's streets. So people that were completely bought out of their own housing market by Chinese investors and world economy would collapse if the city of London stopped laundering money before the pandemic. Uh, world like so Britain economy. Let's go over this here. See what I got. Boris Johnson left us with a horrible housing crisis. So basically, five years ago, so what they did was they basically major, this event will affect major economic tsunami to hit on all fronts, starts in London. So I was predicting in Europe, it was the, the, the homelessness and the fuse has been lit. It starts in London. Pound continues to lurch lower despite Bank of England intervention. So uh, see, look, BS London millionaire ghost homes. Millionaire ghost homes. Bank of England set to crumble. More money more money laundering now, four years ago. So, look, London housing falling down. Toronto and Seattle are winning the money laundering wars four years ago. So Toronto and Seattle, after Vancouver, B.C., put on the foreign buyer's tax. These uh, Toronto and Seattle got destroyed. See, uh, ca see uh, California, London, New York, Dublin, Toronto, Vancouver. See, people are fleeing in droves in record numbers overseas, and migrants push up house prices four years ago. Middle-class mass exodus from all major cities, London brain drain, and skilled workers five years ago. My opinion, London is following the ways of California, where there is too much government and not enough freedoms for the middle class. London is a hub for money laundering. There it is right there, five years ago. So, there it is right there. So, you're wondering why now the homeless people are becoming a nuisance because of bullshit government plans that they implemented to disenfranchise and basically kick out the British proper or the English proper from their own country. By 2030, English will be the second language in England. Hopefully a big channel could take that and say, <gasps> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Hey, Mike, you should cool it down. What a difference it would make if you had four or 5,000 YouTube what 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 difference will it make if you had four or five thousand YouTube channel? It's not that. It's that I'm thinking that oh, this guy has a really good speaking piece here in this video. I'm gonna ask YouTube to take it down so I can make the video five years down the road and then kind of become a hero. So it's hard to cool down when you're they're using you as some sort of a reference, but they don't want you here. All bad news to demoralize and gain knowledge and ignore the noise. Educate yourselves. Rob Hexfire saying proof of what? Elio, uh, Elio's in the house. Thoughts on my direction of the interest rates, inflation, and dollar real estate for the next year. I love your perspective, Mike. Well, again, rates, we're still uh, a point and a half, 1.5% behind in, Canadian, uh, in interest rates in Canada. We're still one and a half points behind. We we didn't catch up from 2022. So.
All right, let's keep going here. So now Canadian media, all the Canadian media, this is Bloomberg, but the, all they're doing is, is, is covering the Donald Trump thing. And Canada is in massive need. What's this here? Yeah, so this is what I put here. Uh, a former, uh, former president, U.S. president, Mr. Toronto Star. Donald Trump has been indicted for hush money payments. There it is right there. And people are forgetting Bill Clinton paid Paula Jones 850 grand to go away. Uh, I don't remember the FBI raiding his lawyer's office, but but that's how it works. This is how, like, in Canada, people, I've already had several people come in my store and tell me that Trump is going to jail, uh, conservatives are losers, liberalism is the best, and then I show them this, and they call me a racist in Canada. And today in history, October 9th, Obama wins Nobel Peace Prize, and there it is, Obama with the Peace Prize, and then I show this to them, how basically... If it lets me, oh, it doesn't let me open it. Oh, it doesn't let me open it. It's basically showing, it doesn't let me open it. How uh, Obama dropped uh, three bombs every hour during his administration. And then Donald Trump indictment includes over 30 counts of related business fraud. And in Canada, CBC, Donald Trump indicted by New York grand jury. And Canada loves this. There's nothing about this. A couple of sports. There's a, an Olympic runner. A couple of sports, but there's nothing about what happened, what Trudeau's been doing in, in robbing the country blind. And CNN, of course, they're all over Donald Trump. And Ottawa gives final approval for Rogers' $26 billion purchase to Shaw. This is very important because now Canada's going to be stuck with two cell phone companies now, or one, or three. I think they have TELUS. So Canada has protectionism, so they don't allow other companies to come in and... American companies to come in and add some competition. We have two or three airlines. We have two or three cell phone companies. We have one or two internet companies. In the province I'm in, we have one car insurance company. We don't have anything. Like, we don't have a choice here. We're, like, mandated, and it's expensive. My internet bill went up $100 a month now. Now, my internet for my store, keep the store's internet, and my house internet is, like, $430 now. It's like four four hundred and thirty bucks for my internet for my store in my house. So, so that's what's happening, and that's becoming a major problem. The fall of the Cabal series and sequel to the fall of the Cabal are great but depressing at the same time. You want to see depressing? Go back to Mike in the Night episode four hundred. Start watching Mike in the Night. People keep emailing me and asking me, Mike, when should I start watching Mike in the Night? I want to go back and re hear your replays of your show. I'm really enjoying it. Go back to 400. Go on Odyssey. I'll see if I have the time to port over all the videos, all the Mike in the Nights, if I could port them all over for you guys from from um, Odyssey to, to Rumble so people could watch the replays uh, if they want to watch them. But go start at 400. That's like the best. 400 is the best. Uh, that's the first appearance of Porno Pete. Porno Pete came on the show. That was a good. That was good. And we had, we had Dom Dom on the show telling it like it is, and and then Porno Pete jumps in there real quick in a heartbeat. And Porno Pete had a lot to say too. And then Porno Pete made five or six appearances after. But we got to get in touch with him. Uh. The sex, the 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 sex work is real is is real work crowd, which is huge lobby will never allow us to go full digital currency. Trust me on this, yeah, because that is really big. That is really big. Pete disappeared. Someone said Trump twenty twenty four in the house. Or oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's F at Man TV. Man TV. Trump twenty twenty four in the house. Don't underestimate canadians three percent will do just fine yeah the condos have you guys seen a condo in canada look i'll show you some pictures of condos in canada they're like rundown apartments and ghettos in america i live in a condo i love that women i live in a condo they go over and like this is a condo it's like yeah, no one lives in apartments again there's no such thing as apartments in canada they're all condos. So, 
what I've been looking for uh, for them and anyone has the stones to do is talk, talk, talk and maybe make an impotent protest sign or maybe make it an important. Uh, hey, Duke, not just oh, uh, Simon Shaw in the house. Yeah. Yeah, guys, sorry, I was kind of bitter this morning coming into the shop and then I, I, I'm honest to you guys. I, I have no reason why. Just bitter. Just just out of gas. Just out of gas and, and I don't know how to explain. It's just defeated. Just absolutely defeated. And that's how I've been feeling, you know, a lot lately. with the whole social media thing mainly. You know, the store, you know, gets by. I do my best. I, I do what I can for my store and and, uh, you know, feed my family and stuff. If you guys want to help me feed my family, guys, promo code Mike in the Night. all one word, Mike in the Night. And I will, if you guys want to really help me out, go to my store. It's up and running. I'm shipping to the United States supposedly now. I'm going to try my best. So there it is, Merit Toys and Games, mtg.toys or meritgames.com. Go there. You could go scroll through everything, or you could go through some of the board games. We got D and D books here. We got Gundams and Model and Hobby Kits. So you click on here, and if you want to buy something, I have. I would really appreciate it very much. And use the promo code MikeInTheNight.com. You know why? So I know it's you guys. And we got all kinds of just just endless amount of incredibly good games. If you guys want to, I like this game. You have to you have to trade cigarettes so you can you can dig out of prison, and um, you have to use tools to get out of prison, and if you guys want to help me, a lot of kids' games here. If you guys want to support me, I, I uh, really, really appreciate it very much. I, I don't, you know, I'm doing my best here. and Like, not on the social media, but I'm doing my best with my store to make it into something. Uh, I recommend here, um, click on this here, folks, and then go here. Exit. There's puzzles there and 3D puzzles, but this, these are cool. These exit games I recommend, and these adventure games I recommend to play with the family and get off the damn electronics. This is what I recommend. A lot of exploration games, ghost stories. I have it here in the store, and you know you're buying it from somebody. You know that that's 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 somebody that's real, somebody that you know, somebody that you know, somebody that you know. That needs that needs the help, you know. Somebody that has a family, you know, that's been there for you t the last ten years. MTG Toys, please use promo code Mike of the Night, please. And I know it's you guys. And um, you know, I want to spotlight a game. I got two. I think I have two left in stock. I really recommend this, but the problem is when I recommend a game and the cover does not look attractive. People don't don't want to try it, even though the game is incredible. It's 45 minutes long, and it's designed for people that don't play games. If you don't own this game now, and you have a family, or you have a good friend that comes over for drinks or whatever, play this game with them. It's 45 minutes long. It's called Lords of Waterdeep, and it's a work. It looks so complicated, but it's actually easy. It takes 45 minutes to play. You send your workers out to grab these items on the board and you cash in your items and complete your quests and get your points on the board. It's an incredibly good game. It takes 45 minutes to play, maybe an hour on your first game because you're learning. There's a million YouTube videos on how to play. And if you don't have this game yet, buy this game, guys. I promise you. I When I was dating my wife, when I was dating my wife, I played this game with her the first time. And she's like, ooh, this looks like so much for me. And she's in the Philippines, right? So I'm like, it's like, I don't play this stuff. So we got into playing one turn, two turns. She got it. She ended up kicking my butt. But uh, Settlers of Catan is, yeah, but Settlers of Catan is old. Like, if you actually play Lords, if you actually play this game, like I'm, I'm recommending to you, you'd play it once, twice, thrice, and you would be severely addicted to it. You would be actually, like, wanting to play it regularly and get off the stupid electronics. And that's what I kind of want to do, just get people off the damn electronics. And if you like Star Wars, I have a game here that's really good. It's called Outer Rim. This game here. If you haven't played this one yet, it's really good. If you like Star Wars, though. you got to like Star Wars to get the game. But MTG.toys, guys, help me out if you want. Buy a few games over the weekend. 
and um, just buy one. Just just buy one. Buy a game and try it out. And then once I gain your confidence, I can start recommending more games to you guys because that's what I do. That's how I feed my family, right? Someone saying, here you are on the electronics. I never tried that one. Only D&D game I mer merged stones. Had it for years. I love it. Yeah, Lords of Waterdeep is incredible. Uh, uh, rigor mortis. Trust me. If you're in the area, come and I have an open copy there. You can come and play with me. It takes 45 minutes. It takes you longer to drink a coffee. <laughs> it's morning coffee with Mike. It's your real deal. It's your real deal. I'm your neighbor. It's the real deal here. You're guy next door your wonder what mike's up to you know oh name of the store is mtg.toys mtg mtg.toys mtg all one word use promo code mike in the night yeah come by rigor mortis i chug my plain black coffee though oh ho, 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 ho. hold on i got a few more headlines guys tomorrow or tonight i'm going to put up the link for tomorrow's mic in the night on rumble so if you guys want to join us and be part of the channel hopefully we'll bring up some key points that other big channels could take and run with so and we could always say oh we a caller called in and said that or mike said that or a lot of the callers that call in and give us information Always gets raped and re... Okay, here. I want to show this to you guys. Watch this. Workers face biggest real... Uh, uh, real... Uh, real terms income tax raise in 30 years amid uh, awful April of soaring bills. So cities are going broke. See? Now, th this is in England. They're going to have income tax raise. So when you make money... So is it even worth working anymore when all the money you make is going to the government? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to write this down, maybe make an independent video of it. Hopefully no one heard that. Bam, write that down. Hopefully no one steals that, but there it is right there. And um, now let's type in cities. Let's go on our channel time machine. You type in cities. Tax. I think it's tax to death. We made a few videos with tax to death. Yeah, tax to death, mass exodus of young families. So tax to death. What else was it? Toronto tax to death, turning into turning city into an empty shell. Rates go up three years ago. You notice how the pattern city's going broke, property tax hike coming across Canada. They're gonna tax us to death six years ago, baby. Taxing us to death. Uh, importing fees, sanctions, tax to tax to enter the city. Toronto going broke, must raise property tax. They will tax it. They will tax the working poor to death three years ago. Get out now, mass exodus, Toronto housing crisis. They will tax you to death four years ago. But no one heed these warnings. I did. I live Vancouver. I I already saw what was happening. I got the I got out of Vancouver. So that's what's happening now. Cities are going broke. They just said it in the article right there from London that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to tax your income tax even more. But they got homeless all over the street, but they can't do anything to the homeless. So you, you, you see what you, they can't do anything to help the homeless. Let me fix that. Let me fix what I just said there, and that's the problem. Property tax for that reason only. I'm glad I rent, uh, but the problem is if you're renting. They're going to pass. The property taxes go up. They're just going to increase your rent. You see what I'm saying? Mike, I am in the UK, and the UK has already fallen. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. The United Kingdom is, is finished. Uh, again, uh, in England, the second language, the second by 2030, the second language will be English. I'm going to make a video on that, too, for you guys. Hopefully, someone doesn't steal that from me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Anytime I, I bring up word salads... You, Somebody takes that and gets a quarter million views. But um, keep it up and, uh, and Godspeed, buddy. Barbara. Barbara Spector's prophecy is becoming reality. They're going to tax every everybody's house so much that they won't be able to afford the taxes. Yeah, the money launderers and the foreign capital flows from other countries, they need to hide that money. 
because it's illegal. And Canada has got the Vancouver model, and California has been doing it since 1993. So it's good to bring in the money and then leave everything empty and then just kick all the locals out. But they never think about who's going to maintain the infrastructure. That's what they're not thinking about. That's the problem. Yeah, uh, maybe a small comfort, but people will look back in the future and they will see that you tried to spread awareness and help people way before the curve always happens. Yeah, that's from Rob Hellfire. I felt like a foreigner in my own city of London for decades, but it just gets worse every year. So uh, Ben Tucker, I need you to call into Mike in the night. I know it's three in the morning. <laughs> I know it's three in the morning in London because we've had callers from Dublin, London, Belfast call into Mike of the Night live on Rumble. But the problem is, the problem we're having is that um, it's three o'clock in the morning there. But I would like to hear from you a perspective from what is happening from your eyes. London, Ontario, that's where I'm from. It's a represence o'clock. It has come unrecognizable also, London. Yeah, we talked about even Ireland. Ireland becoming unrecognizable back in 2017, 2018 when foreign investors were, were invading. Watch this. Type in Ireland on my channel. Watch this. I don't know why my keyboard's not. My keyboard's not working right. There it is. So we did a wrap-up video on it. So Ireland is dying. Who cares? Five months ago, nobody cares. That's post-diction. Investors are pushing out locals in Ireland. 9,846 homeless people in Ireland. Mass exodus four years ago. So Ireland, to walk it back. Hold on. Hold on. Ireland, massive housing crisis, food prices, rentals, energy bills, massive brain drain three years ago. Foreign investors forcing Irish middle class into homelessness. Ireland housing depression four years ago. 500 people saw that. Woo! And foreign investors going uh, going to Ireland, pricing out locals, leaving homes empty everywhere four years ago. Mass exodus of Ireland's youth. Ireland housing takeover. Push talent out four years ago. Northern Ireland housing is hot. At Southern Ireland, there's free a uh, flee to the north for affordability four years ago. So... <sighs> Taxes set the skyrocket everywhere. But again, I tried. I did my best. I warned everybody. How many videos did you do of Ireland? I'm going to watch them all. Ireland is my family's homeland. Rob, if you want to cut, if you don't, you can watch the, you can watch all the videos. They're there. But I would go to this one. Ireland is dying. Taxes, fuel prices hitting hard the problem is even if you type in this title it won't come up you you won't find me you'll find other channels but it's called i see you have to look this that video right there watch that one i wrap all those all of those get wrapped up all those videos get wrapped up into one video so i could i kind of break it down and show people uh what is and how it's going down right but but yeah that's the sad part i don't know i again i could say i could rest in peace Knowing that I could die, knowing that I've said what I had to say. I've come here to make to try so hard to make a difference. And all and and I the only one here investing in digital assets and cryptocurrency. We got. We need Crosshatch to call into Mike in the Night too. We need Steve the Cross to call into Mike in the Night too. We need Riga Mortis to call into Mike in the Night too. I need all you guys to line. I need to line you guys all up this Saturday. Um, mind you, if you're in Ontario, it's like eleven o'clock your time. So it, it is Mike in the Night, right? So, so add me on Skype, Mike Martins, M I K E M A R T I N S, nineteen eighty, all one word. Add me on Skype if you can, guys. And I want to line you guys up for Mike and the Night. I really want to get you guys' perspectives on things. I don't challenge you guys. I don't challenge no one that comes on. People come on, we talk, they tell us their points of views. And uh, I call 
occasionally I would call somebody out, like Porno Pete or somebody like that, right? But but you know we had Ricky Spanish on many times. Do YouTube prefer first before Rumble, Mike Mark? It's really hard. The pre-shows are so hard. You're from London, Ontario. I grew up near London. Oh, oh, okay, that's somebody else. No, I'm not from London, Ontario. Someone's saying you're from London. No, I lived in Toronto when I was a kid. Yeah, you're, I'm on Rumble, guys. Go over to Rumble now. Um, unfortunately... I don't know. I just I'm shadow banned. Like I just, I just can't get my I just can't take off anywhere. There it is, right there. There's 492 of Mike in the Night. There's the Rumble. There's the Mike in the Night. There's the Mike Martin's channel. So you go here, Cities Collapse Retailers. This is the last Mike in the Night 492, and then you go to Mike in the Night right here 491. Everyone's talking about this episode of Mike in the Night 491. Everybody's people are calling me about this episode, like calling me and emailing me. About this episode of Mike in the Night 491. So, guys, check it out if you can. There's 490. France is burning. Look at the timestamp of this video, France is burning. Look at the timestamp on it, and then look up France is burning on Rumble. You'll see uh, so many, so many videos after. So, there it is right there. I'm on Rumble too, guys, and I'm trying to live stream on here and try to make a difference. If you guys want to join me, go ahead and do do so. I would appreciate that very much. Uh, coming on and showing some support, you know. And uh, again, I, <laughs> I'm not bought and paid for. Been saying it since pretty much since this this channel's. Well, the last channel got taken down, but been saying it since 2012, pretty much. 2008, if you want to really want to get technical. Mike, who is the main character in this life? Main character in this life. That's an interesting question. Mike, who is the main character in this life? In this life we're living here? There, I don't think there is a main character. I think we all work with each other m more than we, we – we actually connect with each other more than we think. We give out uh, – I think there's more to it. I think there's more than a main character. I think we platform people to be the main characters or we like to platform people to be the voice of reason, right? We like to do that as human beings. Jesus Christ. Yep. God. Yeah, of course. You are the main character in your own life. Of course. The main character is not of this world, says Steve the Cross. All the world's a stage. We, we are merely players. God is the main character. Oh, my God. I want Banting and... What? I went to Banting and then BL, well, Banting University. All right. Dropped out and joined the Canadian Forces. Nice. That's Rigor Mortis. We need to get Rigor Mortis on the show. We need to get Rigor Mortis. We need to get all you guys on Mike of the Nights. Everyone needs to call in one after another after another. We need to, everybody gets a seven minute, eight minutes to talk. Say what you got to say. I won't interrupt and move on to the next caller. Move on to the next caller, you know? But, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Rick and Morty says I'll call. Yeah, please call. Add me on Skype, Mike Martin's 1980. Tell me your name on on, you know, tell me your name from the this year, so I know it's you, and that would um, help me out a lot, and I could get a lot more perspectives coming out, and uh, growing the community, and uh, just getting people to, just getting, I don't know, just I guess venting, getting out there, right. Faith in God will free you from all this destruction. Yep. I got to get Skype. You have Skype. Everybody has Skype. 
everybody has Skype on their phones. I, I talked to someone last week. They're like, uh, I want, I don't want to add Skype to my phone. You have Skype. They're like, no, I don't. Go to your apps. He's on the phone, puts me on speakerphone, goes to his apps, type in Skype. Oh, I have Skype. Everyone has Skype. Everybody has Skype on their phones. Unless they're using a flip phone or something from 1975. But, yeah, but... <laughs> you know what I mean, right? But, um... Oh, I don't have a smartphone. Threw it away a number of years ago. <sighs> Anyways. Anyways, guys. I love you guys. I really do. And, uh... Really appreciate you guys coming out. And, uh... You know, helping me, uh... Calm down a bit, you know? Okay, so maybe going for five minutes live on YouTube. Yeah, I could do like a five-minute quick thing. Hey, guys, we're going to be going live on, on... Yeah, and then and kind of put a link and a plug and everything. And then shut her down and then switch over. Remember, guys, I do all the engineering. I do everything all by myself. I don't have no one helping me. So it's it's it's... It's really, yeah, I'm going to try my best, guys. I'll do what I can. And that's all you guys are asking me. Okay, can you, you can always download Skype on a smartphone. No, but most smartphones already have Skype. You, you go on, it's already there in the apps. You, some people go into the app store and type in, they type in Skype and then it says already installed. It already says it's already there. Oh, that's all the Rumble guys. Love you, Mike. Tell your mom hi and she keep stitching, says a Northern Stitcher. But anyways, folks. Okay, so use promo code. If you guys are going to support me, mtg.toys, make sure you use the promo code Mike in the Night, all one word, uh, so that I know it's you guys. And, um, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there, you know, and uh, hopefully I could create more international. So we're shipping United States and, and Canada now. And then I'll, maybe I'll figure out how to ship to Australia. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the shipping is worth it, though, because the shipping is just too expensive. <sighs> Anyways, guys. All right. I'm going to open my door. If anybody wants to come and see me, I would appreciate that. We'll talk uh, We'll talk a little bit later. We'll talk. Ooh, people are, like, showing up here already. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken. <laughs>